Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are falling after the Trump administration revealed plans to privatize the mortgage giants. And the move won't require approval by Congress, but critics say it could mean higher mortgage rates for home buyers. Together, Fannie and Freddie guarantee roughly half the nation's $11 trillion mortgage market. Joining us is Douglas Holt Aiken. He is the president of the American Action Forum and former director of the Congressional Budget Office. Uh, Doug, it's always good to talk to you. Before we get into that, though, I do want to get your thoughts on the jobs numbers that we came that came out today. Now, you say that we're too focused on the headline number and the unemployment rate. It's too narrow a snapshot of the economic health. So, what is the number that you take away? from the data that we got today in terms of where things stand? At this point in the expansion, it, we're simply running out of workers. And so the jobs numbers start getting limited by population growth. And that, that's not very big. So somehow it's perceived as disappointing uh, in the number of jobs. So success then gets measured in a different way, which is, are the people who have jobs getting paid better? Look at the wage data. Or is it possible to drag more people into the labor force and induce them uh, to take jobs? And we saw a, a big rise in the labor force and labor force participation. So this report, I think, was about as good as you could expect from this point in the expansion. And I think uh, that that's, uh, stands in great contrast to a lot of the other bad news you hear about the economy in the business sector manufacturing, which I think uh, is interesting because it, it really is a tale of two economies, a business sector that's not doing all that well uh, and a household sector that's pretty strong. So that 130,000 number, I mean, is that really about the tighter labor market, as you say, just running out of workers? Or is it about some companies that are holding back on investing further because of the uncertainty, especially around the trade policy? Well, it, certainly there's been a lot of talk about how uh, the, the uncertainty, the trade policy in particular, has hurt the investment climate. If firms are unwilling to, to put out cash for uh, capital and, and intellectual property, they might be unwilling to put out cash for workers as well. So I don't think you can rule that out. My point is simply that if you get to a, an economy that has a stable labor force participation rate, stable unemployment rate, given our population growth, we should be having under 100,000 jobs a month. We're getting more than that. Uh, this boosted a little bit by the census hiring, and that's a success. But it shouldn't be viewed as a failure if we don't get uh, a big number of jobs. So let's talk about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. What are the implications as you see sure. it, uh, the privatization? What does that mean for the overall market, the housing market? Well, I think at this, I, I think at this point, the major thing that has happened is the administration has essentially acknowledged the reality that we are not going to fundamentally reform and get rid of Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. That would have been the discussion a decade ago in the aftermath of the crisis. We had to do something completely different. Congress has never gone there. The administration said, OK, that's not happening. We're going to uh, find a path back to uh, private ownership and operation of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Uh, in doing so, they'll have to have more capital. Uh, they'll have to have their lines of business controlled. They can't be as dangerous to the taxpayer as they were uh, originally. All of those things would suggest that you hold more capital and otherwise don't uh, go into as much risk. And that suggests that you have interest rates that are going to be a little bit higher on mortgages. But they also said they don't want that to happen. So there's some missing details here that are going to have to get fleshed out with the regulators to see how the full vision unravels. And Doug, finally, we've also heard this idea floated by Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin talking about guaranteeing access to 30-year mortgage loans. Um, just curious to get your thoughts and how you think that will change things. Well, they want to have a situation where there is a guarantee on the entities. So they're, they're not going to get rid entirely of these preferred stock purchase arrangements. Uh, so they're, they're going to have that in place. That's probably the bad news from the point of view of markets, right? The, the profit sweep will go away, but there will be some charge to the, the Treasury in exchange for a backstop. That backstop means that they will stay in business and there will be access to mortgages. Uh, there will also be a cash window so that entities of all sizes can, can uh, bring mortgages to Fannie and Freddie. So they, they're trying to maintain the uh, structure that would give that access uh, backstop uh, by, the, by the Treasury, but it comes at a price. Okay, Douglas Holtz-Aiken, always good to talk to you.